boom viewers subscribers back again with these quick updates because trust if it's not foreign from king mix up it's not credible and you don't know the thing said people look at addy do a on stage tv interview the other day and i'm not gonna lie to you it was probably one of the best interviews conducted with a dancehall artist on that platform in a long time because let's be honest on stage has become flap stage and it seems like they're not into um, highlighting people's careers no more but nevertheless people being that local Adi is 16 years old I can tell you there's a lot to be learned from this individual especially other artists that are in the business because in fact he said he's going to school and he's studying business you know um, certain mix-up sites like to say Vibes Cartel Kids are are on vacation on tour in london and not in school you feel what i'm saying so i'm glad he um he explained his educational situation because you know vibes card they don't play when it comes to the school you know what i mean uh, shati explained that previously but nevertheless he said that he is not going to jc school no more and people you could put in the comment section what jc means i think it's junior college but nevertheless he says he's in the fourth form so again people in the comment section you know this is an international platform and not everybody know what fourth form is like for example in america you got pre-k to to 12th grade so if you can do um the equivalent equivalent of the fourth form in the comment section um please do so but I'm glad that he um, told the world that he is still in school studying business because when him and his brother both turn 18 year old, they're planning on taking over Adija um, records, you know, Vibes Cartels records. But we'll get to that um, later on in the review. But one thing I did notice is when Winfred Williams asked him, you know, to talk about being a father. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure that's a hell of an experience being at his young age. You know what I mean? 15 years old, 14 years old. Having a youth and the whole world knows about it. But he never want to talk to it. And his body language didn't seem too happy, you know. Um, it's none of my business. But I got to tell you what the streets are saying. The streets are saying that it's alleged that it's a jacket, you know. But I'm saying maybe he just don't want to put his family life out there. For y'all to ridicule. You see what I'm saying? You know? I seen the way how y'all drag the little youth. And the baby mother upon social media. And you know. Even with this video right here. I seen they posted the other day. I'm like okay. This is nothing but a music video shoot. But you want to see the people that matter in the comment section. Yo. What do them big woman y'all. Them big woman y'all this one. Sex after look to you them or do them look to you yeah be a big woman them what I'm like yo obviously these people are not following these people for their music because you would have seen that they was doing music video shoots and all of these things but just to show you oh social media deal with some of these artists and why they don't feel like putting their family business out there but nevertheless people hearing these youths taking their education so seriously to take over their father's business trust me it's a good look but at the same time it makes you wonder the situation with vibes cartels court case cause the only thing we can do is keep with fear time with priors up you know what i mean but the, at the end of the day we can't tell you what our next man gonna do meaning we don't know what the judge them gonna say so Vibes Cartel has to prepare for the worst while preparing for the best. Meaning him stepping out of, you know, that cell and being a free man. That's the best scenario. And the worst scenario is him have to spend a whole heap of years um, in a cell your side. So at the best move for um, the youth them to run the business because they're young. Trust me, they got the streets locked. And this is going to be a big competition for the Dressmaker Boy um, record label. You feel what I'm saying? Because Vibes Cartel actually knows talent. He got the links. He got the lyrics if they need it. So it's a good look, you know. It's definitely a good look. You're saying. And it looks 
the whole family is involved, you know. <laughs> it's like a family affair, like I said. His brother, I think, is 18 already, but they're just waiting on look at it for turn 18, and boom, them start running the show from hiring to firing people, you know. But he said he's more into producing and ghostwriting, and look at Ayoko is going to be... um. running things as well you know so it's a good look people it's a good look i'm not telling a lie this is a very informative um interview to get an inside of you know where the youth are start and where he is now meaning you know when he was in the pg-13 until how he's now and honestly it's the same look at adi focus you feel what i'm saying trust five cartel must feel proud and i'm pretty sure these are the type of things that you know, keeps him strong, keeps his mind strong, keeps him in a positive light, you know, because he got a hell of a lot of kids and, you know, it's just a messed up situation. But it's good to see that the family is doing good. They're in good spirits. Um, Shout to have our own a record label and they said that they're not going to have anything in doing with that. <laughs> you see me, that's it. Shout the record label of Fiat Baby, you know. But again, people, I think there might be some serious issues with um Luka Adi and his, his his baby moms, you know what I mean? But if anything um pops up with that situation, I'll keep you posted. Like I said, it's not really my business to get in the father of people's business life, but <sighs> Them people are at topic, you know. And the people them very curious. The same answer. So like I said, that's what the streets were saying. The streets are saying I had a lot of things about this individual, but you know you can't blame look at Addy for manning up even if I know for him on. You see me I said that's all that counts. It shows you the type of character uh he is, you know. Yeah. So people don't forget to comment on the situations. What do you think about Luka Adi's interview? How do you think he conducted himself for being 16 years old? I think he answered the questions like an intelligent person, you know. Um obviously he he rehearsed and practiced. But I like the way how he was honest to say no. You know, and I think most artists should follow that too. Because a lot of artists, it seems like, they want to answer every question and just expose everything about themselves. They don't know how to say no and keep it moving. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that's the most thing that stuck out to me. He wasn't afraid to tell a big shot like Winfred Williams. No, I don't feel like talking about it because, you know, that's all Winfred really wanted to know about at the mix up part, you know. Because look how long them are the music and I never bring them back for good. You know? But anyway, people, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the notification bell. I run as I get the latest on dance, on news, musical views, and gossips. Bless.